guys, it's your boy Michael with the H&M Reviews Channel. And today we are going to review and test the Autogen 4500 Peak Amp Powerful Jump Starter and Power Bank. Alright, here is a little information. It's got a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery with the smart cables. Okay. It takes five hours to go from zero to a full charge in five hours. This is just so many information on here. Okay. There we go. So just pause the video. This will work in operating temperatures from negative four to 140 degrees. Um, it's 4.7 pounds. The dimensions are 10.4 inch, 6.9, and 4.9 inch. I'll show you everything. Uh, I believe you get 18 months on standby, so if this is in the back of your vehicle um, for 18 months plus, this will work. Just by going outside and starting it up, it will work. But it's recommended every couple months to go and charge it up just to top it off because you might have like 96% after a month or two, so it's always nice to top them off. Alright, yep. Let's see what else we got. Okay, you get the quick charge AC adapter. Okay, let's open it up. This is the fourth generation safety features on there as well. Okay, let's open it up. The Autogen 4500 Peak Amp. I am being sponsored. Autogen did send me this, but I told them it's gonna be an honest review. So, no freebies here. This is a cool case. Nice rubber case. It's not super hard, but it's not su like super soft either. It's got the nice little handle here. Very rugged. Yeah, see? I'm actually putting all my weight down on it, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And the zippers, let's open her up. Okay. All right. We have, obviously, the manual. From Autogen, you must read this to know what you're doing. It comes with the warranty card. You must set this up. So it does say um, you get a uh, one year warranty. And if you go to service at autogentech.com, you can extend your warranty to 18 months from the purchase date. So that's pretty cool. You have 18 months. Okay. And here are the nice cables, the smart cables. This is is seven gauge wire. That seven gauge wire. There it is. And it has has the uh, smart module. It said the reverse light is on there. The correct light is on there, and the boost button is right there. Okay. Yeah. So if you hook them up wrong, it will light up red here. If this lights up solid green, it's ready to jump start. If it, it's blinking on and off, that means it's, detect, uh, it's not detecting your battery because it's too low a voltage. Then you would have to hit the boost button to override the security features. And here are the nice tight clamps, beautiful clamps. Uh, I believe I only see the one wire in here. You know, a lot of people like to see the wire on top and bottom. I mean, to a certain extent, it is kind of important, but it's still going to deliver power. It might take an extra, like, second or two if it only has one wire instead of two, but it'll still work. Okay, but here is your nice clamps with the copper and the, you know, nice tension on them. Like I said, it's seven gauge. All right. And the case also has a zipper, so you could put your little manual or attachments in here then you have another pouch back here so you got the one pouch the, the large pouch for the cables then you have a zipper right there to put whatever and that's it then you have your customary flap just to keep your jump starter protected now okay it also comes I believe I heard people say this is a 20 watt a uh, quick charge plug. Let me just double check. Yeah, this is a quick charge AC adapter wall plug 
which is nice that Autogen actually offers a wall plug. Most units do not have a wall plug. They just give you the, the USB-C to USB-A wire. This is a USB-C to USB-A wire, and this is how you would charge the unit. You would plug this in here, okay, now this would go into the other half of the unit and charge it. We will show you a little later. And also, if you look inside here, you also have a little little channel here for your, your plug brick, your wire on the side here. And when your unit is in here, it's also strapped in, which is very cool. Okay. Now, let's see the unit. This is the Autogen 4500 Peak Amp. And it is pretty, pretty nice. Nice made. Okay. You can hear it. It's got rubber flaps around the sides, if you notice. It does have the five bar notch for the battery life, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. I would have liked to have seen an LCD screen instead, but you know, they're all different. It's a matter of preference, you know. And you also have the output 12 volt 10 amp adapter. It's actually built in. You have to hold the power button Hold it down, and the flashlight will come on. Then you have your strobe and your SOS mode, just like, you know. Okay. You also have your two USB-A ports, the quick charge and the regular. Then you have your USB-C right over here. This is the charge. So this will charge anything from, you know, laptops, cell phones, iPads, things online. And some of these same exact units, the 4500 peak amp, some say it's 27,000 a milliamp hour, and the other ones say it's 32,000 milliamp hour. Okay, so I'm really not sure which one it is. It's either 27,000 milliamp or 32, because the same exact box actually has a couple different specs on it. Okay, here's the back. It comes in a couple different languages. It tells you a whole bunch of stuff on here. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not. Close. There we go. And right after this video, we're going to go outside and test the Autogen 12-volt portable jump starter and power bank on our Cadillac V8. This is the model MJS111B. Bravo. See it up there? There it is. Okay. And like I said before, this is a really heavy-duty unit. And what I have here is I actually have my portable jump starter here that I would bring with me and it has a little cigarette lighter adapter here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this here like that and we are gonna actually hook up gonna hook it up into the port here bear with me here one second plug it in see it plug it in now you have to turn it on like so oh. It actually works, see that? Very cool, see? I like that. See that? There you go. That is the cigarette lighter adapter port in action. Very cool. I like that because a lot of the units now have the adapter wire that hangs out. This has it actually built in, which is a very cool feature, very cool feature. I like that a lot, guys. Way to go. Now also, we're gonna see my phone here. We're gonna see how it is to charge the phone. So we're gonna put it in the quick charge here, the one half, okay? Now, we're gonna put into my cell phone here, my Android. And you have to turn it on, remember guys, you gotta turn it on. There you go. See it charging? And this will charge a cell phone or, or, or an iPad many, many, many times over. It doesn't say the exact amount, actually. Hang on a sec. Yeah, I think I was seeing something like, like 19 times it'll do certain, you know. You would have to go on the specs to look, but yeah. But cell phones, it would do many times. Because keep in mind, this is a 4500 peak amp unit. So it's got a lot of power. 99 watt hour. 99.9 .9 watt hour. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So... The charging works very well. 
but this is a 4500 peak amp. This will jump start vehicles. All gasoline engines on the road today. All gasoline engines and diesel engines up to 10 liter, which is pretty monstrous. So yeah, we are gonna go outside to test and review this product in about five, four, three, two, let's go. See exactly how much power is in our V8 Caddy. We're hooking up the multimeter and we have, oh, actually hang on a second, two volts, 2.2, is that it? Let me make sure I have a good enough connection. Oh, give me a second, guys. Just want to make sure I have a good enough. It's weird. <laughs> Let me start this over again. Turn it back on. All right. Yeah, it's 2.1 volts, I guess. It's that dead. 2.1, okay. Here is the Autogen 4500 peak amp jump starter and power bank. Okay, now let's hook up the positive cable first. And these are seven gauge wire, it's seven gauge. These are very cool clamps, as you notice. They're not your average, you know, they do have I believe it has the one, yeah, it's got one one wire. I don't see it on the other side. Some people think that's a really big deal. You know, it's just gonna take an extra half a second to get power. I mean, it's not really a second or two extra. I don't think it's a big deal, but some people do, you know. It's a matter of preference, okay. Now, I just hooked it up there, and you see the, wait, it was a green light. Hang on a second. It's actually blinking. And obviously, this is very dead right now, so I'm gonna hit the boost button, which it has right there. Boom, push it, solid green. Solid green means it's ready. Let's see if the Autogen 4500 peak amp is able to jumpstart this V8 Caddy DeVille. Here we go. Go on there, see what happens. Car started up the first shot. Nice, that was the Autogen. 4,500 PCAM. Click that subscribe button. Click all so you never miss an upcoming video or post of ours. We will be doing a live stream this week sometime with some giveaways. You must be a subscriber. My name is Michael with the H&M Reviews Channel. Hey guys, shake your neighbor's hand. Peace out. Have a good one guys. Love you guys.